right guys, so we are just on our way down to the fort. We were gonna dig in our knapsack spill again. <sighs> Caleb and I, that is. And we saw a sidewalk tear out right on Main Street. Right in the oldest street in the dang town. Big sidewalk tear out. So we stopped and first target I got, badass little token here. Pull it out. I haven't looked at it yet. See what that is. Looks like a good one. If I can get it to focus. Yeah. It's a pool token. Sweet. Lentz pool room. My guess is Portland, but could be local. Oh, that's pretty crusty. I'm sure it says good for five cents on it. There it is. That is super sweet. Uh, we'll get that cleaned up and we'll show you in the wrap up. Awesome. All right guys, we're still doing our sidewalk tar out. And I uh, just found something. I'm not too sure how old it is, but it's under the sidewalk, so it's gotta be pretty old. Let's see, it's uh, some kind of a suspender clip, I'm guessing. It's just plated, oops. But it's got something written on there. See if we can read it. No, probably not. We'll get it cleaned up and we'll show you in the wrap up. Pretty cool though. All right guys, I think I just found a little chunk of an earring or something here. Piece of jewelry. Awfully shiny for coming out of the ground. Yeah, that's a little piece of earring or something. But uh, pretty sure that's not going to be marked. Way too small. But yeah, I'll have to test that when I get back to the house. Awesome. Let's keep going, guys. Alright, it's a rainy Saturday. So of course we're out here at the knapsack dump. Tim's over here. He's really trying hard to get an eagle button. So I'm trying to get him on that. I just found a button in my first hole. But it's not an eagle button. It looks like a four holer. Interesting looking though. Pretty cool. I don't think I've ever found a button like that. But we'll keep going and we'll show you if we find something good out here. Yeah, I just dug a big old hole to China down at the bottom. J hook. That makes number God, what is that? Nine? Eight? Eight. That's number eight for me. That thing is pristine too. Nice. And there's a lot more beeping in this hole, so let's see what else is in here. Maybe I could do a live dig on a J-hook. Get my annoying beepy stick. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on in here. Let's see what we got. Sorry, I'm not the steadiest hand trying to dig in here. But if there's something cool, I want to get it on live dig. Yeah, probably just square nails. Yeah, I see a bunch of square nails in there. All right. See you in the next hole. All right, so back on my knapsack dump. Uh, spill continues. We got two more of these strap fasteners. We got, uh, I don't know if that's from a strap fastener or a J hook. Uh, a little bit of melted lead. Got a triangle. Uh, four of the little tiny brass rivets. And the hole's still beeping, so I'm gonna keep at it and I'll let you know what all up comes out of here. All right, Kayla's back up. What'd you find? Found a uh, iron rope tensioner right here. For a tent, right? Yep. It's a tent rope tensioner. And it's made out of iron. I've never, never seen one made out of iron before. But given this location, I'd say that definitely predates World War I. So it's like Indian Wars era. It's after the Civil War, but before 
1900s. That's when they started using the brass ones. So that is freaking sweet, man. Good job. All right, let's keep at it. See you in the next one, guys. All right, guys. We're down here at the dump again, and Caleb's on the board. He just found something pretty sweet. Why don't you pull that up and show us? It's a uh, pipe stem, or pretty sure like some sort of uh, smoking pipe. Yep, it's a clay pipe stem from the 1800s for sure. The first person to touch that since, uh, man, mid-1800s. Oh, and it's got a freaking name on it. That is super cool. I wonder if that was the guy who owned it or if it was just a manufacturer. Let's see what it says here. Dougal. Something Dougal. M O Dougal. That is so freaking sweet, Caleb. Good freaking job, man. All right, we'll keep going, guys. All right, here's something new I've never found before. That is a small caliber pistol ball. And by the looks of it, I'd say, man, I don't know, maybe a 36, 36 caliber, possibly. It's pretty sweet. First time I ever found a pistol ball. So that's pretty cool, but yeah. Uh, let's keep going All right, these are pretty sweet both of these came out of this hole. These are uh, 30-03 paper bullet blanks and I know they're blanks because They're tinned they tin the blank bullets and uh, let's See if we can get the back marks off of these uh, it Looks like May of 06 or sorry May of 05 and June of 05 Frankfurt Arsenal. Awesome. Love it. Let's keep going. Alright guys, we are out here uh, digging kind of near the bullet fields. Kind of in a new spot. And uh, man, we just hit the field maybe five minutes. And uh, Tim just pulled out a Merc. Let's see what you got here. Oh man, that's a dark one, isn't it? Yeah. I think the ground's really mineralized here. Yeah, it is. Jeez. I couldn't read anything on it. Actually, I was digging a hole. Caleb spotted it. I yeah. couldn't see it. He found saw the roundness. Looks like it's got a D mint mark. And, uh. Maybe something round. Probably a 40. I don't know. It's hard to tell. 40 something. Like, awesome, I caught, man. I caught Congrats. It, so something round. And I'm like, I see something Boom. round. Boom. I see something round. Well, see something round, huh? Three. Yeah, I saw something round. Uh, like <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's keep going guys. Alright, so we're still at it. I come over here closer to where Tim was digging. He's seems to be on better dirt than me. We're um right over there. If you look. Those are the backs of the houses in Officers Row for the fort. That's where all the officers at Fort Vancouver would have lived back in the day. I think that one there was, um, I can't recall, uh, McClellan. And then right about here was where President Grant's house was. So all the, all the big wigs were all living in these fancy houses over here. And uh, I just got something cool. It's a three ringer, it's fired, but it still counts. I like it. Man, it hit something hard. 58 caliber three ringer That's a war bullet for sure. So I'm happy. I'm gonna keep going here and see what else we can get Hey right, guys Just found me a mule shoe. I believe that is the hold of China literally to China down China Really nice pieces of glass that one's actually got the little mark on there See if I can look that one up when I get home, but I really like this mule shoe. I think that's what it is. A mule shoe. Pretty awesome. We're uh, not too far from Officer's Row. It's right there. So. That is bitchin' cool. 
All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, we're up here on the top of Mount Tabor in Portland, Oregon. Somewhere near Mount Tabor. <laughs> Tim's on the board. He just found a Merc. Let's take a look. So shiny. It's, uh, there it goes. 42. The mint mark on it. Was it S? Probably. Uh, yep, an S. Awesome, man. Good job. Thank you. Let's keep going. All right, here's a wrap up. Uh, we got a dollar twenty one for our clad count. Uh, Caleb ended up with twenty four cents. Um, I got four of the forty five seventy slugs. Um, this was a first for me. It's a uh, Winchester repeating arms uh, thirty eight fifty six Winchester center fire. And that was a kind of a rare caliber. They only made that from 1887 to 1910. That was pretty interesting. Um, I found one more in the same hole of these uh, 30-03 paper bullet blanks. And it's got a September of 05 head stamp on it. So that was pretty sweet. All came out the same hole looking the same. Um, got the same amount of tin left on them. This one is a weird one. It's a 1918 30-06. Unfired. The bullet has been busted off of there. I don't even know how that happens. It's super interesting. Uh, my big mangled up thing turns out to be a thermometer. And if I can get it to focus, you can see it goes from 130 in Fahrenheit down to negative 40. And then right at 32 says freezing. Uh, that's pretty sweet. I couldn't find an example online, but I really like that. Um, kind of a different find. Um, the button, I didn't recognize it because I thought it was brass. But that's actually one of the tin trouser fly buttons that I found in my last video. This would have come off the, the pants of a Civil War soldier's uniform. Um, I mic'd out the ball. Um, uh, my pistol ball. It's a 36 caliber. And there's the three ringer, all mangled. Uh, knapsack sight is still producing. Got the J hook, the other hook, the triangle, four of the fasteners, and 13 of the small rivets. All knapsack parts. Those were the backpack of the Civil War soldier. Uh, found another rivet, but it seems too tall to be in this category here. Uh, just a brass screw. Um, this little drawer pull is really neat. It came out of the same hole with the mule shoe. And uh, the two pieces of china or pottery. Uh, the back mark is a Parisian granite. The, T the TP company, which was Trenton Potters in Trenton, New Jersey. And then uh, I got a little chunk of a tobacco pipe. And a little piece of the bowl, even. That was kind of neat. Uh, some square nails. Here's my little suspender clip buckle thing. And it says security. There it goes. Kind of hard to read. Yeah, it's still a little bit plated. Don't know the age on that one. Couldn't find anything on Google. Um, got a few coins. Got a 1916 wheat, uh, 20 S, uh, 44 P, and a 46 S. And my uh, token didn't clean up very well, but uh, was able to date it. It's a 1911. Um, it's the only year, the only one year that Lent's pool room was in business. Uh, it was 1912, they changed the name of the company. It's good for five cents in trade. Really like that token. Anything has to do with pool, I'm all about it. Uh, my little silver find, pretty pathetic, but it is marked 925. Uh, interesting though, it's not all the way marked. It's only got the top of the 925 stamp left visible. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this. But here, yeah, you can kinda make it out. It's only at the very top of the 9, the 2, and the 5. Pretty pathetic. But I did test it. 
and it also tested so I'm counting that as silver um, valve stem cover found that under the sidewalk with the uh, token and that's another valve stem something all I can make out is the word valve right at the top I uh, got some junk keys some what's it's can't tell what that thing is interesting looking brass some kind of brass cap got hit by the lawnmower this thing is pretty sweet uh, it's a little chunk of leather I think this was a shoe or a little shoe this came out of the knapsack dump and those little nails are brass that's super cool um, I also found this little thing here I think it's a uh, the little scribe tool or scratch all or something that's neat that's got a little magnet on the back so I'm gonna keep that for cleaning my finds up tool Caleb's got some finds over here he's got a 45 s wheat penny got a nice Curtis key here nice older one um, the tent rope tensioner super interesting I never seen one out of iron before and uh, couldn't really tell you the date on that one I know the brass ones were patented in 1880 and were first in use by the military by 1889 but those were all listed as brass so this iron one has got me clueless here's his pipe stem that he found and I'm super jealous of it says McDougal was the company that made the pipe and they were out of Glasgow Scotland and that's a great piece there that dates for the mid 1800s he also found a modern button and some kind of what's it it's got patent dates from the 20s and 30s can't tell what it is though found two of them right in the same hole got patent numbers on them but they don't tell me what the thing was used for um, and then also I wanted to knock off a couple uh, of Oki surf and turf metal detecting list the suspender clip and valve stem cover two more off the list which leaves nine to go and I've got the rest of the year to find them so Wish me luck. We'll see you in the next video, guys.